Now, folks, you've heard Mike and I talking about the different things, and, uh, well, this is... What is that thing that you talked about, about re being reactive and proactive? Explain. Well, it's a quite it's simple, really. You just want to be on top of your game. So you drive the bus instead of the principal driving the bus or somebody else. So you've just got to have schedules together. You've got to have plans. You've got to know what's going on in your building, whether that's construction, whether that's half the schools being used in the summertime for uh, uh, summer school so then you have to have those schedules and plans but when you don't plan you're setting yourself up for, for failure so I always I'm a big big fan of using building maps for example summer cleaning I always take week one it's yellow and then we highlight that's part of the building that we're going to be cleaning that week week two week three and so forth and so on so then I encourage the head custodians and the lead custodian or whatever you want to call them to actually share that about two months with the principal and the secretary set up a meeting and let's go through what our plan is for the summer that's that great situation where we say oh wait a minute where you're at in week two we can't do that we got summer school going on there so that is being proactive versus a week before school lets out and then all of a sudden you just don't have any communication and then you start cleaning and then all of a sudden you've got this everybody's in everybody's way so why is there this dis why do we need to discuss these is there not i mean are i'm guessing people aren't doing one or the other a lot of times yeah they just think you know we're here to clean and people just get out of our way and that'd be nice if they would but that doesn't always happen so we've got to, to have those professional relationships that communicate and shows that we have a plan, you know, that proactive plan. This is how we're going to go about that, whether that's a summer schedule, whether that's, you know, how we're going to deal with setting up for graduation. So what if a school isn't being proactive? What happens? I mean, that's where you get into problems. The school, two weeks before school starts, half the rooms aren't clean, uh, and then the excuse, then we look stupid when we say, well, it ain't my fault that the that they had summer school here. Well, yeah, it is because you didn't plan. So in order for us to be effective parts of the school community, we've got to act like professionals and that's being proactive. So an effective professional custodial program is being proactive and having a plan. And being organized. Well, and, 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 and that then, is being organized. And then everybody is communicating. Right. Right. I mean, it's not just good to have the plan, but everybody needs to know it. Right. And it's something else that a lot of custodians do, Dave, is they don't get involved. So every school, the principal has a beginning of the year staff meeting. Well, if you're a head custodian, you should be in that meeting. You should be saying, we dust every Tuesday. We clean window glass every Thursday. We, so people know what we do. And if, the, if they don't know, then they're just going to assume we're just, just the janitors. And this is why we call the show Beyond Clean, because there's more than just cleaning of those things. There's the communications. Right. Thanks for explaining proactive and reactive. You betcha.